If you're watching this video, then the chances are that you use a base 10 number system. The reason I can assume that is because this is the number system that the huge majority of the world uses. It looks like this. We've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The reason it's called a base 10 number system is because we have 10 individual digits. We don't count 10 in that because over here we count the zero. The thinking is that the reason we use base 10 is because we have 10 fingers and 10 toes. So it allowed us to count on our fingers and toes quite easily when we first started encountering mathematics as a species. However, let's say that we were born with two fingers and two toes then we would use what we call a base 2 number system. You might have come across a base 2 number system before because binary, which we use in computing, is a base 2 number system. How it works is we have 0 and 1. We only have two individual digits, so we can't go any further with single digits. However, we can quite easily figure out what happens after 0 and 1. Think back to the base 10 number system that you use every day. What happens after you get to 7, 8, and 9? Well, what you do is you go back to your first whole number and you put a 0 to the right of it. Then you just keep changing the number on the right. When the number on the right eventually gets to 19, or we run out of numbers again on the right, we simply move the left one up one and carry on. It's exactly the same principle with every other number system. How it works is once we've run out of numbers we simply go back to our first whole number and put a zero to the right of it. With binary this represents a two because this represents one, this represents two, there's a zero here and there's a one there. We can go again and you'll find out very quickly we've run out of numbers again. So again we're going to put three of them there. Okay. We've added another one on the left, and we've put two zeros. If we keep going, oops, by putting one zero one, one one zero, one one one, and you can probably tell that what's going to happen is with our next one, we are going to add another digit and put zeros. This one here represents 8, and if we count up, we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are plenty of number systems that are still used, possibly in mathematics or for scientific reasons or by different cultures. Let's say, for example, we want to use a base 3 number system. The base 3 number system, which is called ternary, works like this. We've got 0, 1. Two. The base, if you've probably worked out by now, means the number of individual digits we have. Now if we understand how a single number system works, then we can figure out how the rest of them works. If someone tells you that they work in a base 3 number system, then you can probably figure out from knowing about base 10 and base 2 that after 0, 1, 2 we've run out of numbers. So what do we do? Exactly the same as we do in the other number systems. We put a 1 and a 0. So if someone who uses a base 3 number system tells you that they're 10 years old, you could probably figure out that they are 3 years old in our base 10 decimal number system. Again, we can figure out pretty easily what happens here after we get to 12. After we get to 12, we've run out, so we move the left one up one, and we make it 20, which actually represents 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One final number system, just to make sure we definitely understand what's going on, is Senery. Senery is a base 6 number system. How the base 6 number system works is we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, because we've got 6, and we know it's a base 6 number system, we can tell that we've run out of numbers. So all we're going to do is we're going to make the next one 10. And then 1, 1, 
one, two, right up to one, five, and after that, we have two, zero. So now, using the base of the number system, you should be able to figure out, no matter what the base is, how the number system works.